Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, welcome to the technical analysis of the Forex market from the ForexPesami.com today the 10th of May and we will continue to talk about the Euro currency. Well, as if you remember uh, in the weekly text version of the uh, weekly research that has been posted on the ForexPesami.com we have discussed that uh, from the weekly perspective uh, we can count on some bouncing to the upside that could start, that is more probable that it will start from the area between 140, it's right here, and 140, 150, it's right here. Okay, but this is daily time frame. This video, and daily video research, but this is just some uh, context for the possible expectations on the euro currency. Well, and our uh, nearest term trading plan was to wait the pullback to the weekly pivot point, and if it will happen, we can enter on the short side of the market with the nearest term target around this area. But this hasn't happened. Yesterday, market has shown some high wave pattern, just creeping with this blue line that is daily oversold area. Okay, just showing some shallow retracement and continue move to the downside. Well, if you trade on the daily time frame, this is not the time to establish any short positions because because just below the market stands strong area of support. This is also, by the way, the weekly support area. Okay. And daily overbought. Daily overbought today is, uh, sorry, oversold rather, uh, stands at 142.28. Just below the market, 141.38, 141.88, the daily confidence support and also weekly pivot support one, 141.03. So this is rather strong area of resistance. And if you can see, the entering short and the struggle with the oversold is not very logical. Okay? So if you would like to enter short, it's better to wait for some pullback to the upside before entering. If you are still um, await for the uh, some stronger pullback in the terms of weekly time frame, well in this case we should find some uh, signals and patterns that could point on this possible short term reversal to the upside. Okay? And for that purpose we should switch to the lower time frame to the 4 hour chart. And here just I want to discuss with you what uh, personally I see here this is for our chart. It's a bit complicated, but I make it a bit wider that you could see all details. Okay. So first of all, look at this pattern: A, B, C bottom. Market hit 618 target, retraced. 100% target stands right here, 141.87, precise, precisely at an area of the daily confidence support. So this combination of expect, uh, extension, Fibonacci extension, and uh, confidence support creates a strong area of agreement. Also take a look that this is daily oversold. That's today 142.28. So this rather strong area of support. Also, like, uh, take a look at this recent pattern. A, B, C top. 100% expansion stands precisely around 141.85. Also coincides in this area. Now let's take a look at this pattern. First drive, retracement. Second drive, retracement. Take a look at that. Second drive, precisely 1.7 expansion of the first drive from this low to this high, 127 expansion. The potential third drive is combination of 1.618 extension from this drive and 127 extension from this drive. And you can see that this, both of these areas, both of these levels coincide in the same area, the same level, almost pips to pips, 142.09. So, personally, I do not want to enter short just above this strong combination area of support. Again, let's repeat it. First of all, daily confidence, daily oversold, 142.28, it's right here. Weekly pivot support 1, 141.03. Double of different A, B, C, D patterns, that's formed right here, target. And possible three drive sell, three drive buy, rather, of course, three drive buy pattern. It's also right here. So possibly the weekly bread and butter trade 
could start precisely from that area or if it will not start from this area at least market should bounce from it uh, during the first side because this is a really strong area of support so I, I expect that market will touch it and I, I expect some uh, solid mm, at least uh, in the short term very strong pullback and then jump out from this area well, even possibly to the weekly pivot point 145.514 but I, I, I can't say that it has to happen but it could happen because market hasn't traded the weekly pivot point on the current week yet and as you remember and you know that the weekly pivot points trades in the 70 or even 80 percent of cases during the week so uh, very probable that market could reach this area during the pullback maybe even this will be the start of the weekly bread and butter buy trade if you are not familiar with this uh, I suggest you to re re read over our uh, weekly research on the that had been posted on the forexpsm.com the text version of this research with the charts on the weekly and monthly time frame is very useful well also I do not have it right right here but if you switch to the uh, hourly chart you can see the strong bullish divergence in this area with this three drive pattern well I do not rely very much on their divergences but it also where the it, it also depends where it has appeared if divergence appears uh, right here, right near the very strong area of support and weekly and then sorry that and daily oversold area and market is forming free drive buy and different targets of the ABCD patterns uh, coincide in the same tight range well this is the um, object to think and I think that possibly wait for some wash and rinses of this era something some buy signals bullish engulfing or maybe it will be short term head and shoulders reverse head and shoulders pattern and you can enter on the long side of the market if you are a scalp trader you can uh, possess yourself for, with uh, some targets but these targets we can uh, we, we will be able to estimate only a bit later when the market will uh, clear uh, show some bullish pattern in this area and I expect that it uh, should happen so market I think that market should show some bouncing from this area, uh, and, and as I said already, and possibly the weekly bullish bread and butter buy trade could start right from this area. If you remember, we discussed a couple of areas where it could start. The first area, precisely this level, 141.40 uh, area. So be careful uh, if you are bearish. Do not enter currently because market stands just above strong area. Wait for pullback. If you are bullish, wait when, mar when market will hit this area of support, will reach the targets around 14150, or maybe even market could force and pierce a bit this area. Wait for some bullish patterns, bullish engulfing, bullish and rinse of this area, touching of the weekly period support one maybe or something. Uh, and only after that you can enter on the long side of the market. Well. Uh, theoretically market could hit 145.14 area this weekly pivot point but uh, for the precise estimation of the target we need to see how swings will develop to the upside to estimate some extensions on the Fibonacci extensions and, may, and maybe we will be able to estimate the target more with more precise so be careful take your risk reasonable and good luck to you